Hi guys! Um, this video is um, January favourite. I know it's quite late in the month of February now to put this video up, but I thought, hey, let's just do it anyway. So I got quite a few products that um, that I that I quite enjoyed using throughout the January. So I'm just gonna crack on straight into it. Um, I apologise for the lighting because normally I film in the day but this one's going to be filmed at night and I'm just trying to suss out my lighting so please I, I, I apologise so first product I'm going to get on to is the John Frieda collection this is um, this is it's called the Secret Agent Perfecting Cream All Levels of Frizz now my hair doesn't really like hair products as such it just likes to be washed and then just not fast, no hairspray, no serums, nothing. So I came across this now about four, about five years ago, and my hair just absolutely loves it. It's um, it's a cream you put on once you've like um straightened your hair. So you run it through. I rub it in my hands, pull it through my hair, and it just stops like all the flyaways. Another thing I like with this as well, it doesn't make your hair greasy, and it doesn't like make it flat or anything. And my hair, although it's really thick, it's really full of static. And I find this, work it right through the hair, all the way through the back, pulling it right down, stops all the frizz. So this is one of my favourite products. Probably it's going to come up in like every month because I use it all the time. And I've gone through like numerous bottles of this. Everything will be listed in the down below bar as well for you guys. So that was my first product. Um, my second product that I love and... I don't know whether I've spoke about this already, I think I have, is the Avon, the Skin So Soft um, Silky Moisturiser with the Argan Oil. With this, I tend to keep it upside down because of the lid and I find all the product will drip down to the bottom. This now, I think I'm about, about halfway through. This stuff just works wonders. I know when I haven't used this for a couple of days because my skin feels so dry. So this is another go-to product. This is a lovely like all year round moisturiser because I tend to, in the winter I'll go for heavier ones and in the summer I'll go for lighter ones. But this one, it feels really thick when you put it on your skin but it sinks in really like really quickly and then also leaves a nice, it's kind of like a, not oily but like um, if it leaves like a residue on your skin it's kind of like gives that sheen. So I can imagine in the summer with like a strapless top you could like rub it across your shoulders and give like that nice glow. But this is definitely one of my go-to products. The next product that I absolutely love is the Elizabeth Arden. This is the trial size. Sorry, that's my cat playing with his little toys. This is the trial size eight hour cream. And this has just been around for years. And I've only recently discovered this due to a friend who was actually on YouTube. Um, she was like, have you tried this? And I was like, no, I've never tried it before. Didn't really know what to do with it. And the 8 hour cream, I absolutely love it. I put it on my lips, I put it on dry skin, I put it on cuts. This is brilliant. So for girls who are like not too sure how to use it or don't know if it's worth paying out for it, get it. Because this will last you ages. It's so thick and like a little bit goes a long way. So this is definitely one of my favourites. The next Elizabeth Arden is, I've already mentioned this in my last video, is the 8 hour skin cream. This is the moisturiser just brilliant I can't say enough good things about this it doesn't break me out although it's a really thick moisturizer I really feel like it really gets into my skin I really feel like it sinks in and doesn't just sit on my face so that is my moisturizer this is Elizabeth Arden I don't know why I've never used them before they're a really good range yes it's a bit pricey I understand and not everyone can afford it but I think it's not that expensive compared to like other creams and stuff people talk about so if you're looking for a good moisturiser and looking to spend a little bit more, definitely try this out. The next thing then comes as a tool. It's my shampoo and conditioner. Now, I first tried the Dove shampoo and conditioners. Um, I think I got them in like one of like the cheap shops, like B and M Bargains or one of those like discounted places. Um, just because I just like I'm not really bothered with shampoo. I just pick any other thing up as long as it washes my hair. It, you know, um, as long as it washes my hair, I don't really mind. But the Dove, it's so nice. It's so makes your hair so soft. 
So I was looking for more shampoo the other day and I came across, I wanted to try the Dove again and I came across this one. I don't know if my camera will like show you a little focus, I don't think it does. But this one is the Nourishing Oil Care with Weightless Nutra Oils and Argon Oil. Since I've come back from New York, my hair's been like really frizzy. I'm just trying to like combat this frizziness. And it says on here, it revives dry, rough and frizzy hair. This is absolutely brilliant. And what I liked with this, it said with weightless neutra oils. Now I've been looking for a shampoo that gives me that like light and fluffy feeling. Not like, it, not, nothing like that bogs my hair down. Because it's so thick, it just, it kind of goes flat on its own. But these two together are a really good combination. I really, really like this shampoo. It kind of like, it gives you a feeling like you've just come out the hairdressers and your hair feels like really soft and floaty and like full of air. But this, to be honest, I'm, I'm not really bothered with what conditioner you put with what shampoo. I'll just put whatever. But I wanted to try, I wanted to try the two together to see if it actually, see if it made a difference to be honest. But this shampoo, I would completely 100% recommend. It is, I think it's like two pounds something. It's not very expensive. And, oh my God, it makes your hair feel so light. Love, love, love this. Um, the next thing I'm absolutely loving, and I had this for Christmas, and I think about a quarter's gone already, is the Soap and Glory. This is the little bottle. It's in like a little cute, like, it looks like a perfume bottle. And it's the Mist You Madly a Flirty Floral Fragrant Body Spray. This just smells divine. Oh, it's like musky and fruity all together. I normally come out the shower, spritz my body all over with this. So it gives like a lingering scent on your skin. And then just get dressed and put my perfume on and off I go. And like this will last throughout the day. Like I'll come home at night and I can still like, I'll take my clothes off and change into my onesie. And... I just like you can still smell this on your skin. It is like soap and glory products are one of the best around. I personally think this is expensive, and I had this for Christmas, but I'm trying to like make it last. Hopefully, a little bit longer than two months. So that's another one of my favorite products this month. The next one, this product was in my what's in my shower and my skincare routine, and this is the Garnier um, Pure Three in One wash scrub and mask this is brilliant when i went to new york for three days i didn't actually take this with me on my skin i could really notice that i hadn't used this for three days this is as i said before first time it like broke me out so i left it about oh a couple of, about two years i think and then i've only recently got back into this again and it is just brilliant absolutely brilliant it helps all my spots it's really like starting to help my skin like come under control again so I definitely, if you've got problematic skin or looking to help get your skin under control, I definitely try recommending this. Try it for yourself and like, let me guys, let me know like what you think. Then the next product is, all these are going to just be beauty related first of all, is the Sanex shower gel. Now this is quite big, this one. This is the 500 mils and actually in boots at the minute, this is on offer. It's normally two pound, I don't know, two pound, three pounds something I think it is, but it's half price at the minute at one fifty four. So that's why I was like, oh, it's half price. Like I bought these like full price before, and I love my skin, loves them. But when I noticed it was half price, I was like, I'm gonna get this bad boy. I did need another shower gel, but a half price, I was not gonna leave in there. This is the Sanex Dermo Pro Hydrate, and this is for the very dry skin. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. These are just, they're not your typical shower gels. Like I suffer with dry skin, so I need to really look after my skin with my eczema and what I put on my skin. And this, like you squirt it out of the, out of the bottle and it feels like a moisturizer. And when you put it on your skin, it doesn't, it doesn't really lather up. It gives you a good, it makes you feel clean after it, but it doesn't really lather up. I think it's the, the lather in the shower gel that like strips your skin of the oils. But with this, on the back it says, it's got three actions to protect, moisturise and rebalance. And this, this, um, this teamed with this really does help my eczema, it really gets it under control. So I've been absolutely loving this as well. But guys, it's the half price of them in boots. 
go get it and go and try it. They've got like loads of different ones. They've got one for very dry skin, one for dry skin, one for sensitive skin. And I'm not too sure what the next one is. I know there's like four in the range, I think. But I'll link it down below anyway. So that's all my beauty products that I've been like enjoying throughout January. The next things I've been enjoying are my Slacken and Co candles. And the first one is Tis the Season. And this is, oh, it's just Christmas. Christmas, Christmas in a candle. And as you can see, like, it's all gone. It's all gone. And the bottom says, Deep green pine, rich red apples, and a touch of golden cider blend to create a timeless, heartwarming holiday scent. This is Christmas. This is Christmas in the jar. I love this one. I'm so sad it's run out. And my second favourite one after the Christmas range from Slack & Co is the Merry Mistletoe. Ooh. And this one is just amazing as well. Oh, <laughs> it smells so good. And as you can see, there's a chunk being taken out of the wax with this one. Because it really annoys me when they make the wicks like really small. So you get like this little bit left in the bottom. And what am I supposed to do? I've got like a tidy good bit of candle left. So I thought, I've got like a wax burner. So I scrape out the wax, put a little candle underneath and put the wax on top. So as it starts to melt, it kind of like gives like the aroma of the candle. And so that way then it saves me like wasting, you know, a tidy bit of candle at the bottom. And the they call this a magical blend of frosted cranberries, blue spruce and iced citrus make this merry fragrance perfect for every celebration this year. These two, I tell you what, I love the Slacken and Coke handles from Bath and Body Works. But these two, if I can pick them up, are just like Christmas in a jar. Christmas in a jar. If you're like, you're like, you're like halfway through the year and you're like, I feel really Christmas today. Like Christmassy today. Like you have like these random moments when you just feel Christmassy. I can just go, yeah, it's Christmas. Oh, I'm so sad guys, but I don't care. I love these candles. Um, the next thing that I've been loving as well are scarves. Like, I've always loved my scarves anyway, but seeing as it's been, like, really cold for us this year, like, the UK's just been freezing. We never have it this cold. And I'm absolutely loving... The scarf I got on now is a cream and um, patterned... It's got, like, a little bow on it. And this is, like, a big, um... Like, just a big... I can't think of the name. Like, a loop scarf. And this one's from Primark, actually. I bought this, like... Oh, a few weeks back now it was like four pound you can't go wrong in pre-mark like this so cheap the prices another scarf i've been loving as well is this gorgeous again it's like a loop scarf it's quite long this one it can go wrong my neck like three times and the pattern on this is so pretty it's like a leaf i don't know if my camera's gonna pick it up but it's a leaf and the colors in it are mustard navy and like a brown and like I just find like this scarf just tends to go with like everything. It's like even though you think like yellow, I was like mustard. I was like oh it's horrible. Like I don't even like yellow. I don't like mustards. But I've been wearing that with like my browns, my blacks, navy. It just seems to go with everything. So that's another one of my favorites. Um, the next favorite I've been loving, uh, if I can get them out, are my Uz boots. These are the ankle Bailey button. And I've just been loving these. These were a saviour in New York. My feet were freezing. Two pairs of socks and these toasty. Nice and warm. But these are one of my favourite boots. I love our boots. They just seem to last forever. They just don't die. They just keep going. So these are my favourite at the minute. I like how like the ankle. So because I'm only little, sometimes I find the ones that come up to my knee, like, I don't know, I feel like they make me look short. But with these ankles, you see a lot more of my legs. You kind of like, I feel a bit taller, if that makes any sense. But they've got the fluff in the middle, like fluff, like they fleecy all the way through. Everyone knows Uggs. And they just got like the little button on them. But these are my Uggs. So I've been loving my Uggs. And another thing I've been loving is this coat I had for Christmas. Ooh. They're falling on the floor. This is my coat I've been I've had for Christmas. It's from New it's from New York. No, it's from New Luck. And this was another gift. And as you can see, it's quite like it's got this like Aztec print on it. 
So, and it's got like this big, it's really hard to show on camera, but it's got like a really big, like snuddy hood on the back of it, if that makes any sense. So like, you can either have it as like a scarf, or you can like put the hood up. So I really like this, like I like the colours on it, like if I can show you in the light. It's got like blues and greens and like a red in it. And it's one of those coats that looks like it's going to be really thick and heavy and just boiling hot. But it's not, it's kind of like, it's, it's really light. It's really light but it keeps you so warm. It is so nice, like it's really, really comfortable. So I don't know whether new looks they'll have them. I'll have a look for you. If they do, I'll put the link in the down below bar because I know they're in the sale. But if not, there's like new coats coming in like all the time. And to be honest, I think it's going to be too warm for the spring. It's such a thick, it's like so warm. It just keeps the heat in. So I've also been loving guys. I don't know whether you can see. I'm going to have to come like really close. Are these like little, I don't think my camera's going to pick it up. These like little silver bows. I don't think my camera's gonna pick it up. But yeah, I've been also loving those little silver bows. And I think that's about it at the minute. Um, I've also been loving quite a few new songs, actually. Um, one song I've been absolutely loving is Chris Brown Trumpet Lights. I think it's Trumpet Lights. Yeah, Chris Brown Trumpet Lights. I'll put the link down below. And the other song that I've been absolutely loving as well is Chris Brown and Rihanna, which is Birthday Cake. Um, yeah, both songs are quite explicit, so um, please make sure you get adult's permission before you listen to the songs. But they're the two favourite songs that I've been listening to at the moment. And that's it guys, my January favourites. Oh, um, as you can see, there's balloons in the back because it's my birthday tomorrow. Yep, it's my birthday tomorrow and I will be doing a birthday haul once I get all my lovely gifts. But they're two lovely balloons off my mommy. She gave them to me today and I just wanted to include them in my video. So yeah guys, I hope you like this video and comment, rate, subscribe and I won't be posting anything for a while now so I'll be doing my birthday haul next. So if you want to wish me happy birthday, I'm on Twitter, um, just comment down below and yeah guys, I shall speak to you soon. Bye guys!